Let me ask like you this. Like there's Let me so, ask you this. So many fossils have been found. No, no, no. There's no transitional forms that really have uh, any proof oh, of, of oh evolution. God. Also, let me ask you this. Can this building be made by accident? Uh, no, because it's not a living thing. Exactly. Well, and, there's, and he's a creator, right? Hey okay. One cell in your body is more complex than that building. You can't be made by accident either, so that's evidence of a creator. Strong evidence. I mean, I'm not doubting whether there's a creator or not. I just think it's kind of nuts that you don't think science well, I think science more proves God than it proves evolution. We were made in God's image. We were, we were created in God's image. We weren't evolved from monkeys. God made animals separate from man. Okay, then how come our DNA is like so similar to chimpanzees? Well, like if, both thumbs, similar brains, uh, well, like they're, they're closer to intelligence to us than any other kind. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that we've evolved from them. Why they're still monkeys if we've evolved well, from them? Actually, that's very strong evidence that we did evolve from them. No, 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 because if they did evolve from them, they wouldn't be here anymore, right? They would have died out and Not we would be here. Well, that's what happens in evolution typically, right? The, whatever it was dies out and evolves yeah, into something else. Well, I would say that's the basic theory though, right? That's supposed to happen. Like a fish that's becomes not, a it's dinosaur. Not, it's or, that. Yeah, yeah. But there's, there, I believe things have died off. Certain animal species have died off over time, but it doesn't mean that they've evolved from one species to another species. Like rats. You should you should really you should really take uh, in, environmental biology class. I've taken biology. I have a, I have a, a college degree. Uh, I'm just telling you. Oh though. my god! What, yeah. What in? In mathematical education. The mathematical. Oh my god! That's yeah. So sad. Yeah. The mathematical improbability of evolution is astronomical. Astronomical. You cannot prove mathematically that, that, that anything evolved. It'd be like you know you want know the you know what the second law of thermodynamics is. <laughs> I'm not, I don't know because I don't I don't study thermodynamics. Specifically. Okay, well, things go from order to disorder. In other words, things are going to decompose over time. They're not going to evolve into other fancier things, right? So, and, and, and you do you know the theory, about the theory of irreducible complexity of a cell? Do you know anything about that? Uh, I'm learning about that right now. What is I, it? I, I take, I'm taking okay. environmental biology class. What, what not, do you? I, I haven't learned about it yet. I'm, okay. We're getting we're getting into it next week, I think. Okay. What do you know about that so far? Um, I don't know a ton about it, but I've heard, I know I've heard the phrase before. Okay, let me just put it a little simple to you. Uh, basically, it's saying that every part of a cell has to be operating now for it to survive. In other words, it couldn't evolve. A certain part of a cell couldn't, you know, it's kind of like a human being. Our stomach has to be there for us to survive, right? As well as our mouth, our esophagus. You know, it all has to be operating at once. When you're born, right, everything is working all at once, right? Now, if it had to evolve, it couldn't, you couldn't survive, right? The cell has all these parts that have to be working simultaneously for it to, to survive, right? It cannot evolve. You know, parts of it can't evolve one piece at a time or whatever. You're talking about like one individual though? You're not I'm talking about a cell. Well, I'm talking about a specific cell. And the same with any living organism, that its parts have to be working right it doesn't it can't evolve as far as uh, you, you have to be cre things are created okay, well, the thing is evolution doesn't happen in just one individual it happens to several species over millions of years but what proof do you have of that what proof do you even have that the earth is millions of years old when radiocarbon okay. dating isn't even accurate literally literally read a science book oh, i have i've seen pictures that they put on in a book but doesn't make it real I can put all kinds of pictures in a book of you know a fish turning into a lion. Well, it, it doesn't mean it happen. Read academic journals, read newspapers. Those I have. Those are going to be more reliable. The, the, but there's there's Christian based right. There's, I I have actual quotes from scientists right here okay. right from Isaac Newton that believed in God as well as others that believe these are real scientists. I'm not even a real scientist that believed in God that would discount any belief of not no 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 real God right no creation or no creator I should say. I mean, I can read some of these quotes to you. Like, let's say uh, Isaac Newton. He says, the most beautiful uh, system of sun, planets, etc. proceed from the council and dominion of an intelligent and powerful being. This is Isaac Newton, right? One of the greatest uh, scientists. And we, we have others. You know, there's, there's Galileo, talks about God. Mathematics is the language with which God has written the universe. That's from uh, Galileo. I mean, I can go on and on and on. Isn't that, that I don't believe in some higher power or anything? Yeah. The problem is like... The, well, this is the issue. Intelligent design. That is the truth. 
there is no evidence for evolution. Like it's like, it's like saying, you know, you put a, a bowl of soup and a lightning bolt hits it and it turns into all this complex living organisms. I, or like saying a tornado strikes, uh, you know, some of these bricks and, and mortar and, 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 and twigs and oh, this building occurred, right? That's the evolution, and millions of years, it took millions of years for that to happen, but all that is, is garbage, you know? When you, when you look, think logically. Okay. No, I'm saying, no, I'm not saying science. I'm just saying science proves intelligent design. Just like this building, you can see that there's a creator behind that. That doesn't just happen by accident. There's no evidence of accidental design. No evidence for that. Okay. Uh... The, the science teachers are lying to you. When they tell you that you came from a oh, monkey, the things. Lying if, if they're telling you that there's the, the accidental creation, yes. Evolution, things. You, you, well, we don't know. We don't, we don't know. Well, I know it because be, it, it, it could it could have been. It I know what God it, said, it could not have been. but but a creator that it makes sense that God created, right? Yeah, I can, no, I totally I totally see how you know there could be a creator. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I love I love to keep talking about this. My, <laughs> yeah. my question is, only Jesus saves. Yes. What proof do you have of that? Well, historical he, fact. Yeah. He 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 rose from the dead. Muhammad didn't rise from the dead. Buddha didn't rise Google from the dead. Matthew, I think the, 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 there's he, a lot. The, the, he rose from the dead. So yes. No, so no, every, everyone is saved. There's, there's no evil. Well, no, no, no. There's that's we need a savior because we are, we have inherent sinful nature, right? We've inherited that nature. We need forgiveness of our sins. I need the grace of God. You know, I, no, no good thing dwells in me. My, my faith is in Christ. You know, salvation. The, his shed blood for me on the cross, right? Because I know I need that forgiveness. If, if you, if you break a law, right? If you, if you drive, you know, and you speed, you get a ticket, you have to go to court, you have to pay that fine, right? The judge going to ask you to pay that fine. Now, Jesus paid our fine for us. We've sinned, right? We need to pay that fine through our faith in Christ. That's, that's the good news. We don't have to pay it. Jesus paid the fine for you. He died on the cross for you. He, he, he loves you that much to die on the cross for you to pay your fine for, for your sin, right? And he's going to change you from the inside out. He wants to live through you. And you be part of his... his uh, you know, uh, army, you could say, the, the spiritual army that he creates on earth. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot to take in, real, I know. My real concern is, uh, you know, if Jesus saves, why doesn't he save everybody right now? Well, like, if, why is there still evil? I know, I I get it, like, it's the devil causing all the evil. Like yeah. Like that, like, I, like, fine, whatever. Yeah. My question is, if, Jesus, if God is all-powerful, why doesn't he stop the devil right now? Because if he why, stops... Why is he letting everyone... He, 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 no, no, let me finish. He, he allows for free will, right? God gives man free will, and he's going to judge. People don't just get away with their sin. Everyone's going to be judged uh, yeah, fairly. They, no, they, no, no, no. There's consequences. The but there's consequences, and there'll be a consequences in eternity as well. So. Yeah, when we're like all long gone. Well, <laughs> well this is, when you think about it, though, this is a blip in the time of eternity. But the real, you know, judgment day in eternity, that's what's going to matter, right? Yeah, once that Where are you going to be forever? Is that happening in my life? Well, once you die, then the judgment. It's appointed once to man, then the judgment. So, you know, that's when people are going to get what they, you know, what they could say uh, earned on earth. Or they, whether they had their faith in Christ or they, they kept their faith in their good works or, you know, some other false religion, you know. I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't feel like Jesus has done much for me lately. He, he's letting you breathe right now. He created you. He didn't save me from rape. Well, didn't, didn't he save didn't me from save domestic me. violence. He didn't save me from that either. He didn't save me from me being kidnapped in the cartels. Doesn't that piss you off? Yes, he, it does. That yes, would it be does. Like, but that you want to like know. if a parent had the power to save their child from rape and they chose not to do it. Yeah, you know my what? That's probably called that abuse. Yeah, my mom did that the same thing to me. But the reason why, believe it or not, it should piss you off isn't because God doesn't do anything. He does. He sent people to save you. He sent people to help you. He sent people to heal you. But he didn't save me from the actual trauma. See, yeah. See, you see the problem here? Yes. Well, Same thing with me. But the thing is, you have two choices right now. Either surpass it, overcome it, and help those that have passed through what you have passed through, or stay down there and drop. The choice is up to you. I'm just I'm just saying, if I, if I were a parent and I knew that I could prevent anything bad like that from happening to my child, I wouldn't, I wouldn't just let them suffer. Well, well, I, I would, well, that's good. Well, there, there, there's so, so many that are pretty normal. You know, uh, parents who do any less than that, we call we call that abuse. So, but because it's God, I'm supposed to be okay with it. Like, well, no, well, why don't you? Why do you blame bullshit, God? Man. Then why do you blame God? Why not yeah. blame the devil? Or blame the people that did that to you? I blame, them out. I blame them both. You gotta blame why? the people that did that to you, not God. 
because God gives people free will to do harmful things, but that's not God's fault that they do it. Like you. Like they if chose you have to do that. And your child goes and blows, uh, blows up a bunch of innocent people, and then they try to blame you. Why yeah. would they blame you? Exactly. Why not blame your actual child who did this? The same, the same concept with God, with God and us. Because we can choose to do good or evil. The well, choice is up to us. Because when a child bullies, it's usually a, a reflection of what their parents yeah, exactly taught them, what or lack thereof. What it's they're what seeing. Teach them. Yeah, exactly what they're seeing at home. But that doesn't necessarily mean that that person's good or bad. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna steal her from you guys for a second. <laughs> good talking to you guys. Yeah, let's talk to you too. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, good yeah, conversation. I have, I have the back of it right now. The... She's not? Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> we, want her to... we want her to be a Christian. Not yet. She's not quite there yet. But she does believe there's a creator. Yeah. She seems to have that. Right? I'm sorry. I would, I would love to take a picture. Uh, yeah, under... the sign? Yeah. Uh, please do. My YouTube channel's on there, too. I think she was talking about this one. Yeah, the other one she could take. Oh, no, no, no. I like this one. This okay. is a good one. Oops. Yeah, have a good day, guys. Yeah, okay. you too. Sure, I'm, no, I'm good, thank you. This conversation is great. Have yeah, a good day. You too. Okay, sure, okay. check out the YouTube channel. It's on there too. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Joshua. Hey, nice Josh, to meet you. Hi. To you too. I'm a Christian. Awesome. Praise God. Okay, brother. It's good. Good to see you. Talk, take care. Anyways, this is uh, we're here at uh, Fullerton College. It's been neat. I talked to some Muslims today, and that lady was great to talk with her. Please pray for her salvation. Pray for more to get saved. Come to the Lord out here at Fullerton College. Hopefully we can reach more campuses. So much work to do for the Lord, I tell you. All over the, all over the country, all over the world, right? But thanks for your prayers and support. Please share the video. Do join Homeless Advocates for Christ on Facebook. And may God bless you as you seek first his kingdom always.